Yeah, last night didn't record. <laughs> All right, awesome guys. So let's get started. I'm gonna jump right in. Um, and as a start to our to our week, um, our mastermind, just wanted to welcome you guys to officially our test group, our best you ever project test group. Uh, this is gonna be totally different for those who have done my morning video chat before. Um, this is going to be a, a deep dive into really um, achieving your goals, um, not just your health goals, but all the goals that you're looking to achieve um, in the next three months and beyond. So I'm going to be each week having a specific topic that we're covering. Um, and, and then we'll kind of give you guys little mini worksheets to work through. It, those are going to be optional, and I'll explain a little bit more about that in a little bit. Um, and this morning I'm going to kick it off with just logistics because I know that I have one other person on here, a couple people that, that haven't, uh, utilized the programs before. So I just wanted to quickly walk you guys on how to access your workout and your nutritional program so that at least you have that to, um, start with this weekend to kind of review and, and plan for the, for Monday. That's when you're going to plan to start. So, um, let me get right into that piece first so that you guys can um figure that you know start working on that right away but before i do that actually um the the app that you're going to be using is it's easier to use it on your phone your ipad or your comp or your or your tv but i'm going to show you how to access your workout through the to the computer so at least you can do your research and figure out which program you want to follow with uh when you start so let me uh share that screen right now and so you're going to be accessing your workout through teambeachbody.com. And when you log on, this is what you're going to get when you first log on. And you're going to be going to the Beachbody On Demand app. And that's where pretty much all your workouts and nutrition is going to be on. So once you click onto the Beachbody On Demand, it's going to open up to this screen. And right now, I'm, I'm having my girls start with those that are just getting started right now with either two programs, either Lift 4 or with Pio. Um, and the reason why I started with those that I, I know this is a very busy season for most of you guys. And so I, um, I, I love the fact that lift four is only four days a week and it's only 30 minute workouts. And so I know most people, the reason why they haven't jumped into the workouts is because most of them are like six to seven days a week and they're like 45 minutes long. So, um, I wanted to make it as smooth as possible to jump right into this. So lift four and then Pio Pio is is a lower impact workout for those that haven't done any type of workout before is a great segue into getting active again. Um, doesn't require weights or anything like that. So that's going to be a great program for you as well. And uh, you'll be able to find those right, right in here um, as you go to all programs and then you can just pretty much access your workouts through here. Um, and just make sure when you jump into your workout, you know, before you do, you can either, go to the program materials and print your calendar, or you'll also get a calendar in the mail if that's a specific program that you signed up with. Um, and then you also have a nutritional program in that program if you choose to follow that specific nutrition program. If you got the 2B mindset, I'll show you in a second where you're gonna find that, that nutritional program. Um, so, so again, this is where you find your workouts and each of them is going to have their workout calendar. So you're going to go to your program materials and then you can go to your, um, your calendar, workout calendar, and then you can print that out from there. For your nutrition, you're going to be going to your nutrition tab right on the top and that it has its own app. So the Beachbody in Demand is an app that you download on your phone. That's just for your workouts. The nutrition tab is going to be Beachbody Nutrition. That is a separate, totally separate app um, that contains all the, the content created by our uh, nutritionist. And so that's where you're going to access this. So you can watch these on your computer or your phone. They're accessible both ways. Um, and this is where you're going to walk through and, and go step by step. Um, Ilana, the nutritionist, literally goes um, from one thing to the next in order. So make sure to watch them in order so that you can start breaking down your meals and figuring out how to plan your meals and, and what your meals should look like, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so it has everything on here. It's over like, it's over 50 videos, but you take your time. They're like about two, two minutes to 10 minutes long for the most part. So 
take your time watching that and um, just kind of digest it little by little. I, you can start applying this meal plan within, I would say, the fifth video. So within half an hour, you can already start applying this nutritional program. Um, so that's your workout, your nutrition. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about like what the steps are for getting started and you know what you should focus on. That's actually what we're going to be talking about tonight or not tonight. It's night. It's dark <laughs> this morning. So this morning we're going to be jumping into, uh, talking about the topic of clarity, clarity, um, in regards to your goals. And the reason why I'm going to be talking about clarity and starting off our mastermind with this, our test group, is because gaining clear, greater clarity into what you want to achieve is the gateway to achieving those goals. Most of us, what we do t tend to do when we write our goals down is, I want to lose 50 pounds, or I want to get a better job, or I want to get paid more, or I want a better marriage. But we're not specific to exactly what that is, what it looks like, what it feels like, who are we with. It doesn't specify. And so we leave chance to this gener general desire that we have. And I can tell you from my personal experience that um, four years back when I started my journey, I, I was very general. I was like, I want to lose 50 pounds. And although you think like, oh, that's super specific, right? It's not because I just said, I want to lose 50 pounds. And I lost those 50 pounds. And then I still wasn't like happy because I hadn't focused on the other areas of my life. I thought if I lose this 50 pounds, I'm gonna feel better. I'm gonna have a better marriage. I'm gonna have all these amazing things. And I think that's the trap that most of us fall into when it comes to our health and fitness is we focus, about, we focus on the superficial external piece um, and don't realize that there's an, a mental piece to this as well. And so that's why I need to, I wanna help you guys walking you through how to develop yourself mentally so that the workouts work, the nutrition plan works, right? Because most people, what they do is they go to the gym and expect to get results or they go to a personal trainer and expect to get results, but they never shift up here. And so they expect to get different results and they're not because again, the problem is not overeating. The problem is not, is not being able to exercise. The problem is that you don't have the belief right here. And so if you don't have that belief, if you, if you don't have the clarity to exactly what you want to achieve, then you're not going to achieve it. And so today we're going to talk about how to get clear, how to get specific, how to get intentional with your goals. So I want to give you guys an example of, of what I did in the, last, in the last three years. And in the last three years, I was very general. I was very general as to what I wanted to achieve, like I just mentioned. And in the last, I would say last six months, I decided to get very, 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 like so specific and detailed. And I decided to write it down. And I decided to, to do these habits I'm gonna show you guys today um, in order to start getting some type of momentum. And it's crazy that the, I've gotten more done, achieved more, have gotten closer to my goals in three months than I did in three years. And so, this is the power of clarity. If you want to speed up your momentum, if you want to speed up your success, if you want to speed up your goals and achieving those goals, you got to get, start getting clear with them. So I, um, my goal for you guys today is to leave this, this mastermind with, first of all, writing down those specific goals, drawing out a map. Not just writing your goals, I want to do this, I want to do that, but then planning out what your daily life will look like to achieve that. And then you're going to be, um, we're going to be walking through, uh, through step by step on how to achieve that goal in the next three months. <coughs> and I want you to learn how to define those goals and how to review them daily. So we're going to talk, that's what we're going to kind of dig into today um, in, in, into the clarity. So Let's jump right into it and give you guys the step-by-step -step on how to start creating your, your very clear goals, your, your clarity. And the number one step is I, what I find that most people struggle with is that they're overwhelmed or just they don't know what they want, right? 
they they honestly do not know what they want. Like I, they're like they worked all their life. They worked at the same job for all their life. They've you know they've done the same routines all their life, and they're just kind of like ah, I'm okay with that, right? So they they've never questioned themselves like what do I really want? And so this task might be a little bit difficult for those that don't know, or maybe you do know but you just don't know how specific you want to get. So the number one step is brainstorming. I know as you guys know that. When, when we've been in school and, and writing papers, the number one thing they do is to create, to create anything, creativity and, and papers and, and projects, is you want to brainstorm. And so the way that you want to brainstorm your clarity, your goals, is you want to write down the areas that you want to improve in or that you want to focus in. So for me, I wanted to focus in six areas of my life, okay? So I have health. I have marriage, I have parenthood, I have business, I have finances, and I have spirituality. Those are the six areas that I am focusing on like for the, for the next year and beyond. Maybe I'll add another one at some point, but those are my six focuses. So when you figure out what your six focuses or whatever focuses you have that you want to work on, I want you to put that in a little bubble. And then I want you to start brainstorming, okay, what do exactly I want in this area when it comes to health? You know, what does, what does lose, losing 50 pounds look like to you? How do you feel? What are you doing? What do your days look like? And you want to start just like drawing out that little map or that little brainstorm and figuring out, okay, what, is, what does it look like? What does it look like for, as a man, in my marriage? And start brainstorming. And then after you've brainstormed, the number two, two step for gaining greater clarity in your goals. So I want you to start then writing down, again, going to the who, what, where, when, why, how. I want you, again, the only way you're gonna get specific with these goals is figuring out those questions. So start asking yourself questions. When I had a hard time writing these things down and I was like really trying to figure out, okay, what do I really want in my marriage? What do I really want in my finances? I needed to, I needed to first ask myself questions. And so I'm going to give you guys some examples of some questions I started to ask myself in regards to some of these areas in my life. So even before I wrote down my goals, before I did all that, I was like, let me ask myself first what I want, what, what I'm trying to figure out, what, I, what, I, what I'm looking to achieve. So, so, um, one of the questions is who am who I am as a mom? What does my best days look like? How am I present each day? How am I speaking to my children? What are we doing? Where are we as a family? And what are we doing each night, day, to go closer together? So that was just a question for my family, for my kids. When it came to my marriage, I asked myself, for my marriage, envisioning what our, what envision my relationship will look like. What do we do together? How do we interact? What activities do we do? What does our calendar look like? And what are we creating together? And there's way more questions than that that I that I would have asked, but that was just a starting point. For my family and and parenting, how I wrote down how to how. Um, how do we share time together? What are we doing together? Where are we growing? And how are we giving back? Because one thing that I've always wanted to do with my family and my kids is teach them how to serve. And so I don't, if I'm not specific what that looks like in my family, I'm not going to be able to achieve that. So before you can start writing down these elaborate, specific, clear goals, you have to start asking yourself questions. And once you start to do that, then you can start to create that that vision number three the next step is that that part seemed hard this is the the hardest part that most people have with this with this um technique and that is mapping it out now that you have these goals written out now that you've created this amazing vision for your life don't just sit there and pray that it's going to come into your life magically. Now you have to get be proactive. Now you have to map it out. 
So what do you have to do on a daily basis, on a monthly basis to create momentum in that area of your life? So for me, what I did, and I started this in the beginning of this year, and you guys are getting a kickstart to this because you're, you, we're not even three, we're like three months left of the month of the year and, and you guys are going to get started on this. But in the beginning of this year, I created like different, um, based on these categories I had, I created different um, documents with, and you can't see it because it's white, but on here, this is like four pages long because that's how detailed I got. I, I wrote down my, my one month, my three months, my six months, nine months, and 12 month goals. And I broke it down. So in one month, this is what I'm gonna achieve. This is what I'm gonna work on. In three months, this is what I'm gonna work on. And then I went to six months, and then nine months, okay? And I've gotten to highlight things that I have accomplished. Woo woo. Like how amazing is that is for you to feel like, not only are you just writing your 10 cheesy New Year's resolution, but now you're actually gonna be achieving those goals. See, most people, what they do is they dream. They don't, they don't actually believe they can achieve these goals. They don't actually take action after the second week in January. They don't plan out their, their year. And so if you're not planning out, you're leaving up your, your dreams and your goals to chance. And it's not going to happen with chance. You have to be intentional. And so map it out. And I'll, and I'll share with you guys how I do that. Number four, and, and I actually on here, um, which, uh, which I'll talk about in a, um, with this actually, number four is you want to write a timeline, right? So for my one month goals, I, I, I wrote down what I wanted to achieve in one month because I wanted to, I knew in my mind, like, okay, I, in my, one of my goals was, was create a website. I knew in a, I would not have been able to create a website in one month. So that was like down the road. Actually, I think that was my 12 month goal. I think that was under my 12 months was create a website and it's done. It's done before the end of the year. Right? So, but you create a timeline regardless, because if you don't create a timeline, you're not creating urgency. See, most of us, the reason why we, we are not achieving these goals is there's no timeline. There's no urgency. They're like, ah, I'm just going to go with the flow. That's what I hear. So many people say, I'm just going to go with the flow because no people don't like pressure. People don't like to be pressured. People don't like to be, to be um, challenged. But let me tell you that being challenged is the best way to grow. And so if you are not challenging yourself, no one else is going to challenge you. No one, no one is gonna, else is going to remind you, hey, didn't, remember you said you wanted to improve your marriage? And you're like probably wondering, like, okay, how do I set timelines for my marriage? Right, because this is a lifelong desire that you want to improve on, right? And for me, I uh, I had spiritual goals from, with my family, and so I wrote down on here somewhere on my I think it was my twelve month goal is by December thirty first, my family and I were gonna be achieving a spiritual goal together, and that's still on there. So that's a deadline. Um, another one is you know, let's say you've been wanting to have this conversation with your husband or significant other and you've been putting it off and you've been delaying because you're, I know for, for me, I, I, I get the most uncomfortable when I have to sit down with my husband and talk to him about my feelings <laughs> because he gets uncomfortable, I get uncomfortable and it's just a hot mess. And so for me, I had to like sit down and be like, okay, by Monday, I'm going to sit down and talk to him about this topic by Monday. So I set a deadline. Because if you don't set those deadlines, you're never going to do it. You're going to procrastinate. You're going to say next week, next month. No, you know what? When I feel better, no, when he's in a good mood, I'll do it. You're never going to do it. And so set the deadline, set the timeline in all those areas of your life. So how do you break down your, your health goals? Well, if 50 pounds, right? If 50 pounds is a lot of weight. So set a deadline, map it out. Okay, in, in, by the end of this month, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. And that's a marker, right? So the, you, for those bigger, scarier goals, set markers. Set stepping stones. Because that's what's going to allow you to feel good. 
right? A lot of people tell me they don't do goals because they, they, they feel like a failure when they don't achieve them. Well, set stepping stones, step baby steps, whatever that looks like for you. But set a time, timeline because, if, again, if you don't create urgency, you're not going to take action. For me, like, I, there, there, was, there have been so many urgencies in my finances, in my marriage, and there's been so many situations where I'm like, if I don't do this now, I'm never going to do it or I'm going to, I'm going to, my family, we're going to fail miserably. So set some urgency. Number five. This one is, is, is crucial, is crucial for you to achieve your, your, your goals and, and gaining greater clarity and being able to, to gain that momentum. Because so many people tell me they're so busy. You have to create a no list. You need to know in advance what you're going to say no to. Listen, the reason why you're creating these clarity goals is because once you have created them and you actually wrote down exactly what your life should look like, your marriage, your health, your, your parenting, your finances, whatever that is, when something comes along, a little like shiny object or distraction, you know, wait, hold up. That's not part of my plan. I'm sorry. I can't participate in that. I can't do that today. Ask me in three months when and I, I can reevaluate where I'm at in my goals and maybe I can help you then. Or maybe I can participate in that activity. But right now, this does not align with my goals. So you have to be clear. If you're not clear in your goals, this is why most of us are so overwhelmed. We are not clear in our goals. We're saying yes to everything because we have a servant's heart. And then we and then we get burnt out. We're depressed and anxious, and we and we and then we and we don't do anything. So get clear on what you're gonna say no to. For me, because I've been so clear on these goals, I don't have time for social life. And I know that sounds like for some people, the, their, their social life is, is very important. If that's one of your goals, great. But for me, I know that out of my six things, I was like, I'm not going to have time for, for that right now. Maybe in five years. Like, that's how far out I'm going to have to look at that. But so what does that mean when friends and family come to me on a weekend and say, hey, Natalie, we have this event going on, this activity. You should come over. And I know I haven't seen my husband all week. And one of my goals is improve my marriage and improve my relationship with my kids. And I only have Saturday to see them. And then my friend comes over and says, hey girl, I haven't seen you in months. Let's go do this on Saturday. You know what I say? I'm sorry, sweetie, but I haven't seen my husband all week. And right now, this is what we're working on. It is so much easier to say no when you are clear on what you want to achieve. So get clear on your no list. But the good news is on the next step, the last, very last step on gaining clarity and achieving these goals, the last step is creating a yes list. Whoop, whoop. So, what's up? <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> so what do I mean by creating a yes list? Is you can't do this alone. Your biggest, scariest goals will not come true if you're trying to do it all alone. So if your mother-in-law comes around and says, hey, I'll take care of your kids, say yes. If, if your husband says, hey, babe, I'm gonna, I need, I'll do the groceries for you, say yes. I haven't done groceries in three weeks. Because you know what? Right now, I am, I am the busiest in my life right now, and he knows that. And he's seen that. And he's like, hey, babe, let me help you. I'm going to say yes. Before I used to be like, no, 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 babe. I don't like, the, I don't like the, I, the, the brands you pick or, you know, how much money you spend on, on the food because he tends to spend a little bit more or he tends to buy a little bit more junk food than I do, right? But I'm not, I'm, right now, I need help. I need help in all areas. And so what, how did I gain so much, so, so much momentum in the last three months? I got the babysitter. I got the cleaning. I got the help with the groceries. I got help with my website. I got help with 
all these things that I knew I could not do alone. So start saying yes to help. You cannot do it alone. You doing it alone is not making you a hero. If anything, it is burning you out and you can't help nobody, not even yourself, if you're overwhelmed. And so start saying yes to help, whatever that looks like for you. If you need to put a little bit of money aside to help clean your house, put the little bit of money aside. Because let me tell you, you will gain greater momentum than trying to kill yourself every single weekend and then taking that time away from your family, taking away from that, that time from away from your marriage and that growth time because you, have, you haven't cleaned all week because you've been working all week and the only way you can clean is Saturday. And now you're cranky and you're, and you're mad. Let me, I promise you that $50, that $75 you invest into a cleaning lady for one week, one day a month, whatever that looks like for you, is gonna save your sanity. It's gonna help you move more, uh, faster to your, towards your goals. So get the help. All right, so let's move forward to the, to the do's and don'ts, okay? With, with, with your goals. And you guys, as, uh, while I'm talking, you guys can type in any questions in the chat box and I'll make sure to go through them after. So if there's anything that pops in your mind while I'm speaking, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just walking, going straight through so I, I don't waste any time and then I'll go to those questions after. Pretty bad, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do All right, so do's and don'ts. <clears throat> First, let's talk about the do's. Once you have these goals written out, you want to look at them on a daily basis. You're not gonna be jotting them down in a journal, closing that journal and putting it on your bookshelf or on your nightstand and, not, and looking at it again. This is not your New Year's resolution. This is legit stuff. This is your life. So what did I do? I literally have it everywhere. I have it on my phone. Um, you won't be able to see it because it's all white, but I literally have it, um, like my screensaver has like my picture and all my, my purpose words, wh who I wanna be and what I wanna become. I have these that I created and I have them, like I put them in my little sheet protector and I have them in front of my calendar, in my, in my, in my yeah, my calendar, my big cal calendar. I have it, I have writ, I have it written in total detail, way more detail in my journal. And I have it, the words that I want to become and do right in front of my computer, like right above my computer. So I can see that every single day when I come into my office. So you have to look at these goals. You have to live these goals. You have to like be obsessed with these goals. They should be surrounding you every single day. And again, the reason why you do that and why most people don't achieve their goals is because they just close their book and they, and they make them their dreams is because you are not reminding yourself every single day what you're working towards. And when you do remind yourself, what happens is when you see opportunities come, you're like, oh my gosh, I remember I, I wanted that in my life. This is the perfect per person to help me, to collaborate with me. Or this door opens and you're like, oh my goodness, this is what I was asking for. And you start to see these opportunities because they're in your forefront. You're constantly thinking about them, right? It's the same example of like, you want this black Honda, you know, pilot, and you put it, in my, put it on, your, on, your, on your list of what you want to achieve and, and want to get, and then all of a sudden you start seeing black Honda pilots everywhere. It's just because you put it in your forefront. They were there before, but now you, you put it in the forefront and now you see it everywhere. That's exactly what happens with your goals. You see opportunities just open up and they were there the whole time, but you were so blind because you were so caught up in your to-do lists in your daily life, in, your, in, the, in the mundane daily tasks, and you forgot what you, what you were living your life for in the first place. So remind yourself every single day. You want to visualize these goals. So not only are you reading them and, and, and looking through them, you want to visualize 
So what does that look like? Is it, is it a vision board or does it, is it, does it look like you sitting down in the morning for five minutes and just closing your eyes and just what, like seeing yourself walking through, through the gym and, and lifting those weights and getting sweaty and feeling your heart pumping because you're hitting it hard in this workout. You're visualizing yourself going through the motions right? You visualizing yourself walking with your husband down a trail by yourself, holding hands and talking about life and your goals for the next month. And, and you're hugging each other and you're embracing each other and being able to, to just enjoy each other's company. You're visualizing that because now you're, you're bringing those goals to life. So visualize it. Commit to three tasks every single day. So what does that look like? So Whatever those goals are, okay, those five categories, six categories, three categories that you want to focus on, focus on three tasks you're going to work on every single day. Okay, so if it is your health, right, you want to lose 50 pounds. Okay, what are three things I need to focus on today? I definitely need to get my workout in. I should probably drink more water and I should eat more vegetables. Boom, three tasks, done. That's your focus, right? That's not that hard. But sometimes we write those goals down and we don't map it out. So three tasks every single day. So you can do this at night, the night before, or the morning of. And I want you to write it down in your calendar, in your journal, wherever you're planning your day, and write it down. Okay, today, remember and look at my goals. Okay, today I want to improve my marriage. Today I want to help my kids. Okay, so three tasks. This is what I'm going to focus on today. And write them down. And if, you, if, you're, if you're getting even more specific, write down exactly the times you're going to do that. I mean, you can't write down when you're going to drink your water, but what time are you going to do your workout? You know, um, your meal, meals and focusing, okay, you know, this time this is what I'm going to be eating or whatever it is, okay? So every single day you should be writing those daily tasks that will move you forward. Um, and last thing to do <clears throat> is tell people. Tell everyone, your friends, your family, your, your husband, your coworkers, because the more secretive you are about these goals and ashamed or scared to share them, the less likely you're going you're gonna to be able to achieve them. Why? Because if you tell your goals, if you speak it out, if you share with everyone, guess what? People actually want to see you succeed. It's contrary to the belief that people want to see us fail. People want to see you succeed, so they will help you stay accountable to those goals. And I know that sounds scary because you're like, oh. you know, you told your friend you want to lose 50 pounds and you're here over here eating a cupcake, right? And they're going to tell you like, hey, didn't you just say you want to lose 50 pounds, right? And people hate that. People hate being put on the spot. But that's why you tell people because if you don't, they're not going to keep you accountable. So whether you share it with me, whether you share it in our group, whether you share it with your significant other, right? You got you to gotta put it out there, right? And one of the hardest things for me when I started doing this was telling my husband what, I, what my financial goals were, um, are and, and how much, and, and I want to be debt free and what that's going to look like and what, and what things we're not going to be spending money on and, and uh, you know, what we're going to have to say no to. That was a hard conversation, but if I never put it out there and expected him to know my, my thoughts, Right. And then he's over here buying something. I, I was like, do we really need that? Right. And then I get frustrated and he gets frustrated because he doesn't know what I'm frustrated about. Then everybody just suffers. So tell every people, everybody your goals. Be verbal because they're going to help you achieve them. Now your don't list. And I kind of just said, I said this already, but put all your goal. Don't put your goals in a notebook and just close it. You need to look at it. Don't just put it there and never look at it again. Don't hide them. And don't take on any more emergencies. What I mean by that? Because let me tell you guys, when you start, when, when you start to, to shift your life and you start to shift your goals and you start to get intentional, guess what? It's going to be challenges that come along the way. There's going to be emergencies that are going to come along the way. 
the last three months, my, um, I haven't shared this, but my brother, uh, one of my brothers, it, um, went homeless. He has three kids. He's married. They're like completely a mess, complete mess. So my parents have had to take on this, this burden that that's their burden. But what happens when you, what happens when you fail to fulfill your dreams and your goals and stay consistent and disciplined, your burden falls on other people. And so my brother's burdens have fallen on my parents and on us. And my brother was trying to, to, to email, email me, message me all these different emergencies and, and things that he needs help with. And because on top of this, now he's getting divorced. Now there's this custody battle. And, and, and he's freaking out and he's giving, is sending me all this negative energy and all this negative stuff into my life. And so like a month ago, three weeks ago, I had to sit down and give him a call. And I had to set boundaries. And I, I had to be straight up and I said, hey, I know that this, what you're going through right now is hard, but your negative energy is affecting me. I am sensitive to negative energies. And it's affecting me so bad that, you know, I couldn't stop crying. I, I, was, I, was, I was emotional. I couldn't get, I couldn't focus. And, and I just told him like, hey, I love you. And I want, I want all the, the success for you. But right now, I'm going to have to pull myself out of this situation. And that's what you do. It's not that you don't love your family. It's not that you don't love your friends, but you have to set boundaries. Stop taking on other people's emergencies. All right. So that's, um, that's our last um, like to, do, to do's and don'ts for our, our goal setting. And so what you're going to be doing after this, guys, and, and hopefully you spend some time uh, over the weekend to reflect and to start preparing uh, and planning for the next three months. Um, again, I'm not giving you like the step-by-step -step for your health routine, for your nutrition, because again, my goal is, and I've done, like, I've done this for three years now, three and a half years, is I have given people nutrition plans, like full out calendars, Monday through Friday, this is what you're eating. I've given people step-by-steps for their workouts or whatever it is. And I've seen people fail because again, I'm not putting the ownership on them. And so that's what this whole test group is about, is putting the ownership on you and allowing you to figure out what's going to work for you. What, your, what does your health routine look for you? You have the tools and resources. They are there. They are amazing. They have changed my life. Now it's your turn to utilize them the way they're supposed to be utilized. And so determine, decide what that's going to look like for you. So if you're going to do shift shop, do shift shop. If you're going to do lift four, do lift four. If you're going to do 21 day fix, do 21 day fix. But make sure you put that on your goals and you're very specific and you set those three tasks every day and you complete them. We have our online challenge group. For those that are new, that's your group that you can stay accountable to. I'm not going to force you to post every day, you know, but I, I encourage you to post because again, that's your accountability. Um, <clears throat> I'm also creating weekly worksheets with this test group. I emailed, it, I emailed the first one to you guys. That's going to be optional, but I highly recommend you do it because it's going to start helping you dig deeper into who you want to become and what, you, what your life is going to look like through, through those weekly worksheets. So it's up to you. You guys can, can fill it out, print it out, utilize it as a resource. Um, this week is, is finding your three clarity words or your three words that you want that define you. And that, that's what you're going to utilize. And, and in that worksheet, I, sh I kind of talk about how you can utilize those words in your daily life. And last thing I want to do, guys, is I want to congratulate you guys for taking on this test group and this challenge. Out of the thousands of people, I can't believe that, that that's how many people have, have seen the videos. Out of thousands of people who saw this video, of my various videos, you guys said yes. You guys said, I deserve more. I want to improve my life. And I'm going to do the work that is required to get there. So I want you guys to give yourself a pat in the back. I want you to, to look at yourself and be grateful that you're at this point in your life. Because let me tell you guys, the next 12 weeks is going to be transformational. 
so long as you put in what you, what you want to get out of it. You put the 100%, you're going to get 100% back. So I'm going to uh, open it up now, guys. If you guys want to, um, I finished a little bit early, which is nice, because it will give you guys a little bit more time to ask questions, um, any insights you've, you've kind of felt during this. Um, and you guys can unmute yourself because I muted everybody to make sure that I didn't have background noise while I was talking. So if you have any questions, um, I will be covering each week a little bit of fitness and health. Um, but again, my goal is to help you on the mindset piece because once you get the mindset piece, the health and fitness piece is going to be easier. So, um, so I, will be, I will be covering that little by little each week. But that's not going to be my main focus because that, those tools are there for you. They're going to help you. You're going to be successful in them. I know you will. Um, but I want to help you in this piece where most people struggle with. So what kind of questions do you guys have or input or comments that uh, you wanted to share this morning? I just have a question, um, Nat. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do three tasks for each of our goals each day? So if you have five goals and you would put three goals for each of those goals a day? Or would you pick one? Let's say like Monday, I'm going <laughs> to focus on my meals and Tuesday, I'm going to focus on my kids or how do you want us to do? Yeah. So what I do is, yeah, I don't do them all in one day. <laughs> that would be like a lot. Um, so I kind of map it out again, mapping it out like one month, two months, three months. And, and I look at, okay, what's the priority right now? And then I focus on those. I still have my, my other stuff on there. Right but I do try to focus on the things that I can do right now. And so my health routine, my marriage, finances tends to be a long-term thing. So that kind of, I work on like little by little. And so I'll have maybe one or two tasks for that one, you know, or three tasks once a week or something like that. Um, so you map it out. Like, do you want to focus on your finances once a week? Do you want to focus on your health routine four days a week? So that's where it comes down to that mapping out and exactly what, how you want to, this is where you get creative. And you kind of figure out what you want it to look like. Um, but yeah, for sure, I don't do all of them in one day. Um, I focus on my mental health, my physical health, um, my family, and, and my business. And so I'll make sure, I'm, I have like a big, I'm pretty much working on four items every, almost every single day. But the other two, I kind of go in and out of. Okay. Any other questions? Comments, if you guys wanna share your goals or kind of what your idea is, you don't have to share the specific like in super detail because you're gonna need time to do that. But anybody wanna put, out, put that goal out already and set the accountability? I have a question. Uh, yeah. How long did it take you to map everything out so specifically? You said you have about four pages. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, down. I actually have more than four pages because I mapped out for each of those, <laughs> for each of those categories. Um, and so I, for each of those categories, I have about three pages. So I would say, like, it, I, I think I spent a weekend on it. Like, I was like, okay, this weekend, I'm just going to focus on writing out my goals. I'm not going to work. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to relax, you know, drink some tea. And I just started to type up, like, and I just did, like, a rough draft, pretty essentially. And I had that rough draft for, like, six months. And then I, I, re t t I typed it up again, even more specifically, in the last six months or in the last three months. So whatever you put on there is not final. You can cr type up a draft if you want. But... Um, at least somewhere to start you with. Um, so it doesn't have to be four pages, but like that's how specific I got. Um, because again, I wanted to make sure I, I knew exactly, you know, that, that map and, and I wanted to create that momentum for me. So I knew I had to, to really be specific in, in those areas. So it's up to you though, um, how, how you wanna, how elaborate you wanna get. Um, but yeah, I would spend like a day or something like that or a few hours here and then a few hours next weekend or something like that uh, but you can you can write up a rough draft you know in a couple hours yeah and how do you approach something that you might not know anything on so like you said if you're trying to start a business from scratch um i don't even know how i would 
put that in a timeline. So seek a mentor, mm -hmm. right? Um, that would probably be the first thing. And maybe you put on like researching, right? Because you're in the researching phase. Mm -hmm. and, and then reading books, right? Reading personal development books, reading something that will get you to become more bold or courageous or strategic or you know business books or whatever that is like so like that'll be your focus or something like that um but yeah that's what i would do um definitely seek a mentor or someone that but i would also like brainstorm like what your passions are you know what are you passionate about mm -hmm. figure out because that's honestly like the best businesses are run by people that are passionate about what they what they do yeah you know it's not about the money um, the money comes to those who are, who are doing something they're passionate about and they love. And so f probably actually the first step would be figure out what your passions are, get a mentor, and then do start doing some research around those passions. Like what, who else is, is doing this, this, that I'm passionate about. And then, and then you can kind of get the, those doors open little by little. Honestly, like for me, when I started on this journey, as a coach, I didn't know what the end result. I was like, I just want to get a discount on my Shakeology. <laughs> and uh, that's honestly what started me. And, and then I was like, oh, this is fun. Like, cool. I get to help people with their health. But I was like, not taking it seriously. And, uh, and then month after month, and then I started, I, I went to my first event and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is legit. People actually make real money with this. And then, and then it was like, it was like a roller coaster. And then I got, I got a mentor and then I got, I got to see people who were very successful and how they're making it work and what they're doing with it. And, and that's how it kind of started the ball rolling. But I just started with my passion of being healthy. I wanted to be healthy myself. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so it's, you're not going to get all the answers right away. Yeah essentially, but you, it, it'll get the ball rolling. Jalitza, I, I think I see you on here, but I didn't, I didn't see your face, so I just uh, wanted to say hi. <laughs> Hopefully you were able to hear everything. Can you hear me? I can hear you now, yeah. <laughs> this is my son's iPad, and I'm like, I don't know how to work, work with this. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, so I've been here. I've been here. Hello, ladies. Good morning. <laughs> morning. Morning, morning. Yeah, I just want to say hi because I was like, I don't know if she's on. I just see her, the turn up. <laughs> yeah, that's my son. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> turn up. That's funny. I love it. <clears throat> All right, cool, cool. All right, so if you guys don't have any other questions, um, I'll let you guys go, go ahead and, and do your, you know, go get into your day. But I'm super excited, guys, to, um, to move forward with this test group and uh, I will be emailing you guys over the weekend for the next two time slots to sign up uh, for next week it won't be the same so just be open um, it most likely is gonna be a late night and an early morning but it's not gonna be Friday if that makes sense so I have to I have to move around my schedule depending on the weekend what my schedule looks like so I'll do a couple time slots give you a couple options and then each week that's what we're going to do and, and sign up for those time slots. Um, and then I'll email you the, the link for the videos. Um, and then each week I'll also in that link with the videos will be the worksheet for each week. Okay. So, and if you don't, if you don't have the time to do fill out that worksheet, just print it out first. And then when you have time, you can just start filling it out on paper versus on the computer. So, um, all right. I think that's I think that's it for for now. And if um, if you guys have any questions along the way, like I said, you guys are in the challenge group. Post your questions in there. Um, our messenger as well. I'm here for you guys. Um, and yeah, I'm excited, guys. I hope you have an amazing day, a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next week. You too. Okay.